Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to replay commentary number four for our STW um, Operation Carnage first anniversary tournament celebration contest TM something. In uh, this game we are featuring Miss Deathy in the Scharnhorst. Uh, very, very, very fun German battleship. Uh, it's my first battleship commentary, so I thought let's let's do let's do a battleship and let's see what can happen. Uh, we are looking at two carriers, which is somewhat rare and also a real pain in the butt when you are a um, a battleship. But let's see what happens. There are two Atlantas on this team, which may come in really handy. There's a Texas on the team, which also will be really handy. And. That's about it. Maybe the Algerie has defensive fire. The Duca has defensive fire. So lots of anti-air on uh, Miss Deathy's team. But if you look on the other team's lineup, we see a Colorado with good anti-air, most likely. Uh, Pensacola, Indianapolis also have good anti-air. Cleveland's got great anti-air. Mm, Budioni and Aoba and York might have defensive fire. So that's interesting. So let's take a look. For those of you guys who are new to the series, um, I just comment on things like it is live. I, I know that uh, Miss Deathy did some good things, and um, I know that Miss Deathy has the uh, at least 80,000 damage requirement to be able to enter this replay in for a prize uh, in the tournament. So beyond that, I don't really know. I don't know if Deathy's going to win. I don't know how many kills she's going to get, if any. I have no idea how many hits, how many secondary hits, all that good stuff. And to be quite honest, I don't care either. Uh, I don't like to feature uh, the best of the best of the best uh, replays and players, and I hope you're kind of noticing that here. Um, I like to feature players um, that obviously have enough damage to get in, uh, but you know maybe this is a learning experience for them. Maybe it's a learning experience for everybody else that's watching. So that's the idea. All right, so right off the bat, uh, what are we noticing? First and foremost, Deathy has HE loaded, and you can see now she switched to AP and said, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, because she had a beautiful shot on a broadside Budioni. Um, there's only one destroyer on this on the enemy team, so I would probably agree to have AP loaded because you can just punish cruisers. You can do good damage against battleships too with AP, which you're about to see here. Um, I do the same damn thing, by the way, Miss Deathy. I like to shoot at the first target available. It's typically a battleship, and right after I shoot, I see a cruiser pop up. I'm like, oh, jeez. So. I'm in the same boat. Miss Deathy is rightfully changing targets, though, to a broadside ish York, which is great. And there's an Indianapolis that decided he wants to get shot at, too. So let's see what happens. Uh, all right, Deathy is looking at that Akatsuki. Oh, Fiji. At that Akatsuki and saying, hey, here's a good target. Uh, Deathy is using Catapult Fighter. Um, and I just want to point out, too, I saw earlier. Uh, there was there were torpedo bombers coming and Deathy did not launch the torpedo bomber, which is I, I don't know I probably would have launched it uh, or to, not torpedo I would have launched the catapult fighter because I want to get uh, those planes out of my sky as quickly as possible. I also would have uh, control clicked on the nearest squadron. Control clicking on a squadron is a very good skill to have because it will or well good reflex to have because it will cause uh, your DPM damage per minute against uh, enemy fighters to increase even if you don't have the manual anti-air skill so it's very useful alright Mr. Cleveland making the cruiser loser turn why do I call it the cruiser loser turn let's find out yeah it's very easy to get citadeled when you do a full turn like that I realize that he probably thought, crap, and made a mistake. Well, that happens, and in that situation, mm, you don't want to turn towards the enemy to turn around. Turn away, at least. 
Oh, nice hit on the Congo. 15,000 damage right there. Bam. That's why that Sharnhorst AP is just so fun. Oh, another Cruiser Loser turn coming up. Yes, kind of. You can almost see that the Orc wants... Oh, he's turning. The Orc wants to turn and is waiting. And timed his turn just perfectly for Deathy to do 15k to him. Ouch. Meanwhile, we see the enemy team is just demolishing the other flank. Uh, that's unfortunate, but again, carriers, you have to play differently. You have to play with your team. You can't just go off on your own, and I realized that there were a couple of ships that were there, but not the bulk. Bam! Nice kill. Uh, look at the Atlanta up here. Uh, Deathy is staying with the Atlanta. Very, very smart. Um, Deathy is staying behind the Atlanta. Very, very dumb. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hate to say it, I don't want to be a jerk, but stay in front of that Atlanta. Your job is to be the bullet sponge of the battleship. You can afford to take hits, Atlanta cannot. So, get in front of that Atlanta, let, let yourself take the hits for the Atlanta. A lot of players like to target the closest ship when they shoot. So, if you can be that closest ship, you can be the person that they target. In any case, uh, nice hit on that Broadside Budioni. Good idea trying to get rid of that Congo. He's at low health. Can you get him? Nope. Just a little bit. A couple of bounces. Maybe aim a little bit higher. Your aim was a little low there. Uh, yeah, I can see. Do I go for that? Do I go for that? Which? Oh, no, should I go for that? I, yeah, I do the same thing. Who's going to get the kill? And honestly, I probably would have gone after the Congo just because I really want him out of the way. He can punish that Atlanta so hard. Uh, oh, pow, let's go figure. That it's worth getting rid of the Congo. Not only that, but look at the mini-map. There are currently three freaking ships that are shooting at one freaking Congo. The sooner that Congo is dead, the sooner those other ships will turn their attention into the same target you are. And more importantly, the sooner they'll be pulled up farther north to help you engage the rest of the team. They went so far south to get that kill. That was a huge, huge penalty for them. Let's see if the team can overcome this mistake. Um, well, we have a second, and border, nope, nope, farther right. Uh, border humping, you need to you need to think he's going to come out of that immediately broadside and immediately going full speed, which is a pain in the butt, but it happens. Anyway, um, Miss Deathy has, it looks like, just standard consumables all across the board, and I would recommend against that. On the Sharnhorst especially, I would recommend premium damage control party. I would really recommend premium defensive or, uh, repair party so you can heal back more damage. And a premium scout plane or fighter plane will come in really handy, especially in games like this where there are so many carriers. Um, we also surprisingly haven't seen the Akatsuki's Torps at all. I would have expected to see some Torps from the Akatsuki at some point. Maybe he's trying to go around and just, just, just cap everything. Um, if that's the case, well, then Miss Deathy really lucked out here. Uh, but anyway, um, let's talk about flags. Let's get out of here for a second, see what we're looking at for flags. And no flags. Proof that you can do well without flags. You don't need them. But there are a couple that she should be probably running. Maybe uh, the one that extends the, uh, repair party allows you to, to repair more. No, no, no. Fiji, 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 Fiji. Yes, Fiji. Shoot. Shoot her. Shoot her. There we go. Good. All right. Um, Fiji was stopped, slowing down and about to smoke up and you spanked him. Nice job there. Anyways, uh, the flag that does repair. Good. Anti-air flag is useful. The, the flag that, uh, Prevents detonations can be useful, can be helpful. Uh, the flag that increases secondary range, godlike, especially against in a German battleship. Um, speed would be good. I mean, th this is a relatively fast battleship, so more speed, 5% uh, more, more speed would really help a lot in this situation. Uh, what else? You could do the one that adds for the fire damage because... Oh no, there goes the Saipan. So the Akatsuki was hunting the carrier. That explains things. Anyways, um, so you could you could do the, the fire chance one. That would help you, your secondaries with getting into... Look at the Indianapolis. To the left. To your left. 
Come on, I'm, I'm actually like, no, no, left, 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 left. Indianapolis is perfectly broadside. Turn your guns. She's not noticing. That happens. Um, look at the mini map. I mean, the Colorado, yeah, you could do some damage, but you should be thinking, I need to get into C as soon as possible because I need to turn this battle. Hello, Fiji. Goodbye, Fiji. Um, so yeah, get, you want to get into, you want to get into C. Oh, jeez. Shoot, 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 shoot. Maybe the gun will hit. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, 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 no. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I want to get into C. Ooh, Saipan. Or no, that's Hiryu. Even better. And again, check the minimap. See what's going on. Uh, you're much better off. Probably should. Oh, nice Citadel. That's interesting. Uh, you're probably better off shooting. And again, why is this Atlanta going in first? Don't let the Atlanta go in first. You have the you have the health. Um, you're much better off trying to go after after a target uh, that that's blocking you from advancing. Um, right now, those two Indian those two Atlantas are going up against an Indianapolis. Ah, uh, the Indianapolis has got really good penetration. Honestly, I would go and support those two Atlantas. And now you noticed. And look, it's too late. There goes one of the Atlantas, and you need those Atlantas to stay alive for, for DPM, for anti-air. Um, and at this point, you've, you've, already, you've already chosen to keep going south, so give up on that Indianapolis. It doesn't matter anymore. You're probably not going to get him. Uh, it's time to go after the Colorado, because the Colorado is now broadside to you. Uh, 109,000 damage, so we've got uh, enough to get into the, the contest. And, all right, all right. Um, okay, good use of your repair party. That's about when I would do it, too. Why are you backing up? I would be charging full speed ahead. There, Akatsuki is dead. Um, there's really nothing to, to scare you at this point. The Colorado's 16-inch shells mean nothing against your side armor. So, honestly, charge that son of a b and get him. Seriously. By reversing right now, you are making it easier for his shells to pen you and harder for your shells to pen him. You need to get in close, use your secondaries, torp him in the face, and be aggressive. Because that is what's going to win this game. Your teammates are out there doing whatever it is they're going to do. The Aoba is using AP against you. Why? I have no idea. Okay, but you need to focus on charging this Colorado. Full speed charge. Just directly at him. Stare right at him. Bow in. Max speed. Who cares if you can't use your third turret? As a matter of fact, use your third turret on the Aoba because that keeps him guessing. All right. We're getting into the secondary range pretty soon. Control, click on him for your secondaries. I don't know if you've done it. I can't tell in this replay. Um, but you need to control, click on the secondaries, okay? Um, that'll increase their their uh, damage as well. Um, good. Dare him to turn. That's what you need to do right now. See how he's turning out? All right. Because he's scared. He's scared of you. He's scared of your secondaries. He's scared of your torpedoes. And by the way... You're in, set, you're in torpedo range now. Torp him in the face. Torp him with the left and swing around. Do it. Good. There you go. It might be too late. He's turning around. Yeah, it's too late. And aim higher. You're going to bounce. Oh, you bounced one. Aim higher. You'll penetrate into the superstructure more. You'll do more damage. Um, but anyway, he is making the I'm scared battleship turn. Uh, oh, good day. Oba died. All right. Good, turn, turn, bow into him. You're taking an awful lot of damage here. Uh, and goodbye, good. Get in there, cap C. Now here's where premium repair party would have come into, come into play. You could have used that about 30, what, seconds ago? Um, that would have really helped you with regenerating health sooner so you can stay alive longer. Keep your guns pointed left. Or, alternately, turn your ship left and point your guns to the right. And the reason why you might want to do that is so that you can be in position to charge into C after capping D. Uh, but look at, look at that stupid Indianapolis. And he gets killed by the Atlantis anyway. He would have given you a good broadside there. And this battle is all but one. Nice job, Miss Deathy. A few mistakes, but you know what? 
we saw that even though you made some mistakes, you still were able to stay alive. You were still able to do a lot of damage. You took high caliber, which is pretty awesome. Two kills, four citadels, 137k damage. And it looks like you're going to get a full base cap and you got a partial base cap earlier. Um, this is one of those situations where it just doesn't look good for a long time. It looked like you were going to lose. Uh, and you pulled it out. And that's awesome. And I think that's an important uh, thing for people to remember too. Never give up in this game. People do stupid things all the time and they get punished for it. And when, um, if you don't give up and you put yourself in a position to punish people for their stupid mistakes, you get to laugh at them while they die and get angry. And then you laugh even more. All right, um, Indian Independence is pretty much gone. Uh, you're not gonna catch up to him. He's 32 knots, he's sailing away from you. Uh, you can keep trying. Um, and this is where if you had a scout plane instead of a fighter plane for a catapult, you could probably hit him still and get a few more pictures of damage, but that's okay. Uh, the carrier is forcing him to turn, which is nice. And let's see what happens. We get the, the island block. Oh, God, I hate those islands sometimes um, because they just happen to pop up right where you don't want them to pop up, right? Um, and it almost always, I don't know about you guys, I almost always find the top part of the island with my shots, even if the, see, like that, even if, um, even if the icon isn't there saying, uh, that I'm about to, to shoot a, uh, you know, island, I always manage to find that top part, and it really frustrates the bejesus out of me, but it, it is what it is. Anyway, a little bit more damage, let's see if she can break 140, probably can with the next salvo, assuming he lives. Uh, lead is a little bit too short, I think. Maybe need to lead a little farther up front. Yep. Shells are a little back, but you're still doing some damage and broke the 140k, so that's good. And independence will probably die before you get another shot in. But that's okay. Like I said, ultimately, good game. Hopefully there's some things you learned from this, and um, keep trying. The tournament lasts for a whole nother week, guys. If you want to get in on this action, do it. Why not? Anybody can win. Even if you get that 80k and that's it, you're the lowest score, you can still win this tournament. That's one thing I really like about how we set it up. It's all random um, once you're in the prize pools. Okay? So, thanks for watching, and uh, take care. Ciao.